Um, anyways, hey, I flew back from Chicago and I, I watched that that John Carter from Mars movie or whatever the hell it's called. And he says, I'm John Carter from Virginia like 90 times. And it was actually sci-fi. And I know recently on the Joe Rogan experience, I made fun of all those sci-fi movies. You know, if you're stuck on a plane, it's not a bad movie. You know? But you know what kills me? Is they always got to do that shit in those fucking, those sci-fi movies where they always have to throw in those fucking awful invented words when somebody's arguing. Everybody's speaking English. You know, speaking the goddamn king's English, you understand what everybody's saying. I mean, if you went back 300 years in this fucking country, you wouldn't know what half the people were talking about with all that ye this and ye that and fucking goeth and cometh. It's like, it'd be like reading the Bible. I can't make fucking heads or tail, tails of it, you know? You read the Bible, it's like, am I still supposed to be going left to right here or do I go left, right to left? Because it doesn't make sense. Um... They always have those dumb lines like, the gods of Othgard will not have this. They go out of the way to, like, invent one word. What in the name of marsupial is going on in here? They had one of those, and I actually ugh, just fucking threw my headphones down. And then the douche sitting next to me looked over at me like, what the fuck is your problem? And um, I, I, got, I, I need you guys to come up with a name for this phenomenon. You ever been standing in, a, uh, in an airport terminal? And there's some douche talking really loud on his cell phone. Of course you have. We all have, right? It's this big, this giant dude. There's a fat black dude from England. So he sounds like he's in, you know, lock stock in uh, smoking barrels, whatever the fuck it's called. And he's a tub of shit, which is making me laugh because everybody in Europe acts like they're fucking smart and in shape. You know, he looked like the fucking dude on, uh, you know, you know what he looked like? <laughs> You know that show, the Cleveland Brown show, you know, his son? It's exactly what he looked like. He didn't talk like him, but he had the fucking round glasses, the whole goddamn thing. That's what the fuck he looked like. And he's talking, and he's fucking, he's, he's American fat. He's Chicago fat, all right? But he's European, so he still has to wear those tight fucking jeans. I don't know why, I don't know what it is about Europe and fucking suffocating your balls but Europeans just, their jeans cannot be fucking tight. They just cannot be fucking tight enough. They have, they have to fucking frame their package. Their goddamn units look like fucking Han Solo's face when he gets frozen in that little piece of fucking carbon. Or whatever the fuck it was. Um, <laughs> anyways, so he's running his stupid yap. Yeah, mate, going over to Melbourne. After that, going to go back over to fucking who gives a fuck, right? Just talking, talking, talking. Big, stupid Chicago bear fucking gut. You know, you know when you get the creases on the side, you could stick mail in there. He's got those on the side, right? Offensive lineman fat. You know, he's got great footwork, though. But look at his fucking belly. And he's just running his goddamn yap. You know, so... I walk away from the guy, but he's one of these guys who takes a little stroll when he walks. So he keeps fucking walking over into my little area, right? So I'm like, ah, oh, you know, Bill, come on. Just fucking don't be this. Don't be fucking screaming and yelling. Just fucking relax. And uh, what is the name of this phenomenon? They start loading the fucking plane. I get on the plane. Here comes that fucking douche, right? Still talking. Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. Good day, mate. Yeah, yeah. All fucking bullshit. I know good day mates from fucking Australia before I get shit from fucking people from England. You all sound the same to me, right? So he comes walking up the aisle. He's still running his fucking yap. And I'm just going, ah, oh, Jesus Christ. All right. I'll only off listen to this guy for another five, four, three until he goes by. And the motherfucker's in my row. What are the odds? You know, what are the fucking odds? Goddamn 70 fucking rows. Not only is he in my row, he's sitting right next to me. And he stays on the phone the whole fucking time. Yeah, mate, yeah. No, no. Teddy Bass, watching telly. Is this Stan? Right? The whole fucking time. Why are you swearing? I'm not swearing. The whole fucking time sitting next to me, running his goddamn yap with his fat fucking stomach and the crease in the side. And, um... It's the only, this is the only, uh, the only props I will give this guy is, is, you know, he never, he never said hello. We didn't speak the whole flight. I loved it. I loved that he was in, as self-involved as I am. And, uh, last thing I wanted to hear, last thing I wanted to do 
would start talking to him because he already annoyed the shit out of me. And I know from experience that if I'm going to talk to somebody from another country, at some point they're going to shit on the United States. That's something that they like to do while calling us the ignorant Americans traveling around the world, you know, all knees and elbows. Those motherfuckers come over here and it's just you, you can't talk to them <clears throat> for more than fucking five minutes before they, they, they shit on America. I, I don't I want to fucking understand it. <clears throat> you know, I would never do that. The only, the only way I would do that is if I was on stage in another country, just just for the fucking ridiculousness of it, to start making fun of their fucking country. But if I was sitting on a plane, I would just be talking, hey, you have a beautiful country, blah, 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 blah. Be a decent fucking guy. I don't fucking, ah, Jesus Christ. What the hell was I just going to talk? I just remembered something in the middle of that. What the hell was I talking about? Hang on a second. Let me think about this. Oh, yeah, I remember what it was. Did I tell this story? Like fucking four months ago, I pulled my big-ass truck into this small spot, but there was nobody on the other side of me, and I was fine, right? When I came out, somebody had pulled in, and it was really tight as far as like on either side of my truck, and then I didn't have a lot of space to back out. So it was this fucking problem. I keep trying to back, you know, back out, come back in, back out, like inch my way in. So this fucking guy starts helping me out. I think he was from England. And he's like, uh, you know, next time, why don't you do the un-American thing and back in? And I, I, I fucking, I, it's like you can't even help me out of the spot without fucking nitpicking, you fucking cunts. You know what? I'll listen to it from Australia, but England, the, the amount of shit that is going on in the world still because of those cunts. The fact that they actually fucking give, you had the balls to give the United States shit. The very least, be like, hey, welcome to the party. Welcome. You guys are slowly catching up to us historically as the biggest fucking oppressive douchebags on the planet. You want to come at me like that? Absolutely. But if you're going to fucking come at me like you didn't do all this other bullshit out there, the fucking caste system in India and all that fucking crap, the shit that happened in Rwanda, you know? That's all I got. Two examples. I don't know anything else. <laughs> The Falkland Islands. Ah, Jesus. The ignorant American strikes again. But you know what I'm saying. If I actually read, I could fucking bury you guys in this argument. All right? With your Jolly Rancher flag, whatever the fuck you call it. Um, all right. Thank God I don't have a gig coming up in England after that little thing. You know, 